Shalom, beloved. Blessed be the Most High upon this Sabbath and all days. Blessed be his word and all those who follow. Cursed be all those who curse the ones who the Most High has blessed. This day, this Shabbat, let all Yasharel come under one spirit, the spirit of Yahuwah Adonai, and give him the praise, the honor, and the glory that he is so deserving of. And let us hear the word from on high that he giveth to his beloved. We bless you, honor, and praise you. Thank you, Father, for keeping us and our families. Thank you for your eternal mercy upon our souls, that we may walk among the living and not the dead. For there shall come a day when the separation is at hand. And we shall no longer dwell amongst our enemies. We thank you, praise you, honor, and receive all thy words and thy blessings. Increase our faith, Father. Help us as we wait. Wait on the Lord. We shall not be disappointed. Glory in the highest unto the Most High, Father. Glory unto thy holy word and thy holy spirit. And may you have mercy on Yasharel. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we give you praise, honor, sanctification, and glory. Amen. Beloved, the Lord speaks to us in many ways. For me, the words, the song is still reverberating in my mind. I heard the song of Bob Marley, we've got to fulfill the book. What we are in the midst of is the fulfilling of the book. I am in the book of Obadiah. I am in verse seven. There's only one chapter. I am in the first and only chapter, verse seven. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border the men that were at peace with thee has deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Shall I not in that day, save the Most High, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of Mount Esau? We're going back to verse seven, all the men of thy confederacy. What is a confederacy? He's talking to Esau. What is a confederacy? Let's see. A group of people, countries, organizations, etc., joined together for a common purpose or by a common interest. That is a confederacy, a group of people Countries, organizations join together for a common purpose or by a common interest. Hmm. Many people may say that Babylon has been in league with many, many nations historically since its founding. But the majority of the time then it was either based on ego or it was based on profit. But now there's a different confederacy, beloved. We're going to go back and look at verse 7 in the book of Obadiah. All the men of thy confederacy, the people who have joined with Babylon, with Esau, Edom, with a common purpose, have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. Hmm. Are there any groups of people that Babylon, in order to build up their numbers, is there any group of people they are in league with? that may not have their best interest at heart. Beloved, we are walking straight through prophecy as we see these fulfillments of the book being carried out before our very eyes. Yes, beloved, 
They that eat thy bread, whose bread? Edom's bread, have laid a wound under thee. We are looking at the clay and the iron. We are looking at that fall of an empire. When we look at Rome and its fall, let's look at some of the reasons, just a few, why it fell. Let's look at some of the reasons. They were invaded by barbarian tribes. Hmm. People they didn't want among them. Okay. There was a rise of the Eastern Empire. Okay. I'm not going into detail. I'm just giving those who have ears, let them hear. Those who have eyes, let them see. That spiritual eye, that mental eye, that eye of understanding and compare. Overexpansion and military overspending. Hmm. I wonder, is there any over? Spending now, overexpanding, building up places. Mm. Let's continue. Government corruption and political instability. What have we seen that right before the fall? Government corruption, hmm. political instability. Okay. The arrival of the Huns and the migration of the barbarian tribes. Have we seen people migrating? No, not people who were rejected. Migrants who were brought in. Hmm. Maybe to increase their numbers, maybe with the hope that they would help Rome sustain her power. Hmm. These are the things that brought about the fall of Rome, but Rome was in such a state that these were her only choices. Hmm. We've got to fulfill the book. Let's go on, beloved. Christianity and the loss of traditional values. My, 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 my. Do we see moral bankruptcy in Babylon? Hmm. Okay, when we look at the spread, the decline of Rome dovetailed with the spread of Christianity. And some have argued that the rise of a new faith helped contribute to the empire's fall. Hmm, the rise of Christianity. Hmm, is there a rise of the truth going on? Let's say, instead of using the word arise or the spread of, let's use the term the awakening. Let's remove Christianity, which actually had its roots in Yasharel. Hmm. Just saying. The loss of traditional values. Mm. Morally bankrupt. Weakening of the Roman legions. What does that mean? Weakening of the military, beloved. What are we talking about? Why are we talking about the fall of Rome? Because you see, when you go back to that statue of gold that Nebuchadnezzar saw, well, actually the statue had gold, silver, bronze, iron, and finally iron mixed with miry clay. The weakening of the Roman legions why? Because they were using mercenaries, paying people, bringing people in who did not carry the same value, the same culture, the same traditions. But they were so desperate to maintain their power that everything they used in order to keep it was the exact thing that was going to cause it to fall. Well, beloved, let's go back to Obadiah. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. They got you up against the wall. You know, even as I speak, I can hear it. We've got to fulfill the book. I So my hand was made strong by the will of the almighty. Beloved, we are seeing the fulfillment they are bringing in people into their confederacy, trying to build up against Yasharel. But you see, 
all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. And even that which the enemy meant for our bad, Yahuwah, 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 Adonai, all praise, all honor, all glory to the most high, Yahuwah, he brings it about for our good. Mm. Let me say it again now. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border, got you up against the wall. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. Who? The deceivers. Hmm. Those who carry the narration with a tongue that goes in two directions. That one. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevail against thee. They that eat thy bread. You know, those that they welcome and feed and house and clothe. They that eat Thy bread, whose bread? Esau, Babylon, have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. He's not feeling their ideologies. Hmm. Shall I not in that day say if the Lord even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount of Esau? Doesn't matter how high up you go. Wisdom is not there. Hmm. Hmm, let's go and look, beloved, in the book of Jeremiah. You see, just like in the days when the king, the Pharaoh, dreamed a dream, two separate dreams, but one meaning, the thing was confirmed. We see the words of Obadiah spoken in the book of Jeremiah, though Babylon should mount up to heaven, though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet from me shall spoilers come. Hmm, spoilers? Maybe people in the Confederacy? We got to fulfill the book. I can hear it. My hands were made strong. Yes, 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 beloved, yes, yes, yes. Listen, listen, we are in the midst of fulfilling the book. Yes, I'm going to go into the book of Job. Mm. And I'm going to speak, I have spoke of this before. Knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Now, you see, while we dwell in these fleshly tabernacles, this thing can seem like a long, long time coming, over 400 years. But, beloved, when you put it up against the eternal now, when you put it up against the everlasting, oh, yes, beloved, it's short. That the triumphing of the wicked is short. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach into the clouds, Job, it's talking about it in the book of Job, confirming it. It is established in the eternal realms and the everlasting now. It is established. Obadiah is talking about it and testifying. Job's book is talking about it. Jeremiah is talking about it. They're confirming it. They're echoing it through time, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to talk about that wicked man just for a moment. His bones are full of the sin of his youth. From his conception, from his birth, from the start. Hmm. What nation took nations from its birth in order to remake itself? His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Yes, beloved, the wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Yet his meat and his bowels is turned. It is the gall of ass within him. He has swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. God shall cast them out of his belly. Yes, 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 yes. 
I'm going to come down to verse 18. That which he labored for, he shall restore. You know, there are people that work for evil purposes, but that which he labored for, he shall restore and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall his restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein, because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor. Wait a minute now. Eyes that see, ears that hear, spirit anointed with discernment. Woo! Mm. Because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken. Hey, wait a minute. I, have you seen some forsaking? Let me say this. This forsaking, this oppression is so powerful. It is not just without. It is within. Before we look to those we can help or want to help, and it is righteous to desire to help the oppressed and the poor. Many of us are oppressed and poor. Wait a minute. Because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor, because he have violently taken away in house, which he built if not. Mm. Wait a minute. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to get it right now. We see Jeremiah 51 through 53. Okay. We are confounded because we have heard reproach. Yes, some of us are confused, wondering when, Lord, when? Mm. Wait on the Lord. Trust in him. Yes, we are confounded. Look at all this going on, Lord. Woo. Because we have heard reproach, shame has covered our faces, for strangers are coming to the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. Wherefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will do judgment upon her graven images. And through all her land, the wounded shall groan. Yes, yes, yes. Though Babylon shall mount up to heaven, and though she shall fortify the height of her strength, yet from me shall Spoilers come unto her. Hmm. I wonder, are there people being let in with the belief of joining in the Confederacy? This disagreement. We had agreements. So if trouble come, they got our back. That, that this is what some people want to believe, but they may be uh, under deception. You may be seeing Rome, you know, that iron and that miry clay where they won't cling to one another. Though they eat at the same table, they are not of the same cloth. Mm, let me go on. Though Babylon shall mount up to heaven, and though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet from me, from the most high, shall spoilers come unto her, saith the Lord. We got to fulfill the book. Yes, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my, my, my. Woo. And let's see what the most high is doing. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Hmm. You know, they might take crafty counsel against his hidden ones so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the froward is carried headlong. Dash, dash, beloved, dash. Oh, yes, 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 beloved, yes. I'm trying to find... What I was looking for, for Yasharel. We, beloved, shall trust in the Lord with all our hearts. We shall not lean on our own understanding, but in all our ways we will acknowledge him. He shall direct our paths. We are watching the fulfillment. We are watching Rome come apart clinging 
to an old, fetid, rancorous empire that's actually already fallen. It's already done. In the eternal realm, breaking through until now. And beloved, as we watch, we have to keep ourselves clean, clean through his word. As Yeshua HaMashiach told his disciples, we will study, we will pray, we will give all honor, praise, and glory unto the Most High, from whom all our blessings flow. And not thinking with the mind of the flesh, but with the spirit, we are blessed with the sight to see. Yes, beloved. Yes. I'm going to go back to Obadiah because every time I looked out, I kept getting it and getting it. All the men of thy confederacy have brought the even to the border, got them by the walls. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. Hmm. Where have we seen this at? The other fall of Rome. Hmm. Hmm. The other fall of Rome, they deceived them. They did not have their best interest at heart and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. Keep your eyes open, beloved. His truth is marching. Yes, yes, yes. I had books that I wanted to open that. I find it easier for me to just read from where I'm at. I'm in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. Hmm. His seed is spoiled. Woo. Yes, it is. It's spoiled. Woo. And his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. He is not. I'm going to come down to verse 12. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, behold, those whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have sure, assuredly drunken. Hmm. Sound like Yasharel. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Beloved, he is fulfilling the book. When we look in the book of Jeremiah, we see the words repeated that Obadiah stated. And with that, we are going to give honor and glory unto the Most High, unto his everlasting arms that keep us and guide us. Let us not be caught up in the crafty devices of flesh, of the lies of the narrators that we hear, that use our words and try to twist and turn them. Let us not be deceived by those who try to stand on the train of Yasharel, but know full well their hearts are filled with evil poison and they are not Yasharel, but they have a microphone and play the narrator and they make the lie. They play it as the truth, but it is not. And all their secrets are being revealed. Yes, beloved. He's got his hand upon Yasharel. I feel the spirit. Woo. Mm. Wait a minute. So spirit of the Lord. Yes, Father. Yes. Thou art with us. Thou art keeping us. Fear thee not. Thou shalt not die. Thou shalt live. Yes, Father. He's in the midst of us. Yes, yes, yes. Trust not in flesh. Put not thine trust in flesh. Fear not he who kills the body, but he who kills both body and the spirit. Yes, Father. Yes, yes, yes. In all this day and forevermore, we shall give you honor, praise, and glory. For you are deserving of 
on. Glory, hallelujah. Send the rain, men who kumbara, send you, me, or kumbara, send you, you kumbrolo, sundoro. Be encouraged, Yashua, be encouraged. He is in the midst of us. Seek him, Bala, seek him, Bala, Jumba. Glory, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Father, forgive our sins and the sins of our ancestors. Lead us through this valley of the shadow of death. Bring us into thy glorious light. Cleanse us with thy holy word and thy Holy Spirit, that we shall be made clean and let our ears be circumcised and our spirits and our hearts to your spirit, to your word, and let us give you all praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. A word, beloved. Shabbat Shalom.